two. Hey everybody, and welcome back to Dicing with Death. Where Neil fucks up all of my plans. All of your plans. All of my plans. Well, to be honest, you fucked up your own plans. Those lizardmen ripped off his hand. That was, <laughs> that was your own fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could have helped them instead of causing moderate wounds. Well, <laughs> you're lost. You're the one's got to get yourself out of this jungle and deal with all of the upcoming adventures that I had planned for you to have backup alone. <laughs> so <laughs> be we'll it. See. We'll see. So, anyways, um, you fall asleep under the body of Moonblade in your magical darkness. And you wake up to sunlight. Okay. Burning eyes. You hear an awkward caw, caw. And you open and you see uh -huh. that there is a uh, buzzard chewing on Moonblade's back. It's, I, I crawl out from underneath Moonblade. I don't care about the buzzard. Buzzard away. Actually, no, I do brush the... I get the buzzard away and I proceed to uh, loot the bodies of Moonblade and Ralph. Alright. Um... Rolf has pretty much nothing on him. Um, He's got the one gold moon that Lucifer uh, gave him. Well, at this point, it's like four gold. Yes. Three gold, sorry. Three gold. Okay. How much gold does Lucifer have? Mm -hmm. <sighs> I, this is what I should have prepared ahead of time, huh? Yeah. Um, there's a money pouch. I'll, I can... I don't know. Uh, the hell okay um let's say there is there's 47 gold 47 uh, okay i assume you you want silver and copper uh, i will take silver okay i will not take copper 64 silver um okay i'll take 40 of it mm -hmm. um and there actually are... discard the copper coins that I'm carrying on me. Okay. Does he um, have anything else that's interesting? Um, there's two gems. Take them. There, there is... There are his weapons. So he's got the strange, like, double scimitar that he was using to fight with. Um, that is made out of that weird, like, sandstone stuff. Like, Yeah. He's got a knife of the same material. Mm. Um, I'm going to take the knife. Yeah. Sandstone yeah. knife. There's a small trinket that is a... It's a small hourglass. With sand in it. I'll um, take the hourglass. It's on, yeah, it's on just a little string around his neck. Um, and then there is his clothing and whatnot. So he's got his... It's, so he's got a robe... And then, like, a hood that's separate from that. Mm hmm With little eye slits. Mm hmm Maybe, like, an executioner's mask or something of the sort. Um, I'm going to yeah. take his clothing and put it in my backpack. Okay. He's got nice fancy boots. He's got his, um, you know, bracers. Or, sorry. What are those pieces there? What did I call them? Bracers. Them braces. Yeah. I mean, them, them braces. Bracers are the bicep piece. Them braces are the wrist guards. I always thought bracers were by, uh, forearm as well. Uh... It's called them brace, V M V A M brace. All right. Uh, I want to take those. Okay. In fact, I want to put them on. Okay. Okay. You're able to adjust the straps to fit. Uh, they do have the symbol. That, so one of them has a moon, the other has a sun on it. <coughs> ah, shit! I don't put them on. I'm just gonna leave that stuff under Moonblade's clothing on my character okay. sheet. Okay. Um, which I just put down as five pounds for his. Bam braces or forearm guards are tubular better defenses for the forearm worn as part of a suit of plate. Well, in this case, I'm dropping all the oil that I was carrying, and I'm dropping two, the two new torches that I bought. I'm going to need to cut weight. Um, so close to, let's say, five pounds. Yeah. Make it six. Are you taking his boots? Yeah, I'm taking his boots. Nice, le nice leather boots. So the boot, so make it eight pounds for all of his clothing. Yeah, is, is that little or a lot? It's a lot. That's all. It's fine. Whatever. Sure five pounds for clothing, don't we? Yeah. 
But, well, whatever. I'll, I'll I mean, take it. I'll throw, I'll throw the shoes and yeah, whatever. It's fine. Um, mm-hmm. I think that's it. Do you take any of his weapons? I'm taking a sandstone knife. How much does his other thing weigh? His um, cool weapon? Uh, probably more than you want to carry. Um, you want to say like eight pounds? <laughs> they're lighter than they look, but they're it's still a big ass sword. Yeah, it's like it's like six pounds. What's it called? I don't know what do you want to call it. The call it a moon blade. Moon blade. It's sort of awkwardly sized, though. Like, it's not going to fit your bag. Right. Um, he, he had it just sort of, like, strapped to his back. And so, like, everywhere he went, it was pretty obvious that he had a giant blade strapped to his back. Hmm. All right, so if I... Okay. What I'm, doing. I'm going to drop my two daggers. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to drop my hammer. I'm going to keep two torches. I'll keep my Chris, my silver dagger, my whip, my holy symbol. I'm ca- I am counting the weight of my coins at 50 to a pound. Um, in fact, actually, I'm going to drop 10 silver so that it's only two pounds of coins. I'm keeping my chalk, my flint and steel. I'm going to drop my 40 feet of twine. Um, what weight am I at now? I'm at 45 pounds. I want to be at 40 pounds. <laughs> um, Tythar in chat says, who else thought of taking Moonblade's hair for a wig? <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is beautiful blonde hair. <laughs> You take his hood, like his mask. Oh yeah, I took all of his clothing. Um, it's shit. Dark blue, but half of it's black, sort of in the shape of a crescent. I look at the stone figurines and I, I drop them on the ground. Seriously? They're, they're oh. going to weigh me down. They have a pound each? You Mother- said they're a pound each and there's four of them. Yeah, go for it. All I'm saying is art objects, most underrated value or treasure in, in the system. Yeah. Oftentimes you wouldn't even roll for them, I think, because we're. <clears throat> or we just throw, we'd make them extra gems because we're too lazy to come up with the flavor text. Yeah. Yeah. We'd be killing too many things and getting too many epic loots to even bother to, like. To name uh, some art objects. Fuck it, gems. Piano and. It's a. Uh, I don't know. It's another portrait. It's another <laughs> carpet. <laughs> um. I'm still okay. I'm gonna drop the stone figurines and another torch. Oh, so I'm down to one torch now, and that should drop my weight down to 40 pounds. Let me recalculate that again just to make sure. Oh, yeah, there is a spell book in Moonblade's backpack a small traveling spell book. Shit, how much does that weigh? I mean, a, a book. <laughs> How much does it weigh, though? It's certainly not magical. Um, I don't know how much does a traveling spell book weigh. I think, is it five pounds? Ten pounds? Uh, I think... Is five pounds it's for a tra- normal book or the traveling book? I think it's ten for a normal, five for a traveling. Where is it? Is that going to be in the DMG or the PHP? Well, if that's the case, I'm going to actually keep my figurines... And an extra torch. And my twine. You mean if you're already going to be encumbered? Yeah. Sixty-two. Sixty-two. Hmm. Damn it, DMG. I'm not seeing it obviously anywhere. Let's say five pounds for now. Okay. Maybe it was under like money and equipment even. I'm surrounded by bugs. I don't know, man. 
All right, that puts me at 56 pounds, which is lightly encumbered. Mm -hmm. um, I'll eat whatever food I have. He needs a wizard to kindle. This Talthar is just full of full of woody things. All right, what else? Sorry, and, uh, okay. Any any more note taking? No, uh, and I'm just gonna start heading uh, forward towards the side of the waterfall. Yeah, hold on, just a, I want to see if Swabuk is in. It's not just in the book, is it? I don't know. Maybe yeah. it's in Spells and Magic or something. I feel like it's more like how that's like the most obvious. Like that should be like right under, right in there with the wizard class. I, I completely agree. They dig to get up at some point. All right. Here we go. Spell book, page 107? Oh, in the wait. DMs. No, in the player's handbook. Page 107? Is that what? Mm, that's money. It's magic. 107. It's like wizard spells, spell book. I mean, they're mentioning spell books, but I'm not seeing how much it weighs or anything. Yeah. The exact shape and size of the spell book is a detail your DM will provide. Nice. <laughs> This looks just like a small journal, but it's okay. So full of magics. Cool. All right, so I, I want to keep going forward. This river bank at the base of a massive waterfall. Yeah, there's the jungle to your side. The river goes down to the sea, and then you've got this giant water cliff in front of you. Well, I go to the right side of it, like the knoll said, and look for the ropes and ladders and bridges and shit that will climb up. So on the right, it looks like there's some like steps going up, like really steep steps, and then up higher there's like ropes and shit that you'll need to climb. And I then know. off to the, on the left, on the south bank, it looks like there's some elaborate pulley system. I'm going to go this way, because this is the way that our guide recommended, so uh I, I start my way up the staircase so at first it's just stairs and every once in a while it's like a ladder right. i take it that i didn't have enough sleep to memorize spells yeah that's mm, yeah i didn't think so did you, you want me? did you want to nap through the morning and do that no no i want to get out of here okay okay Sorry, I'm still trying to hunt down that damn spell book. Okay. Whatever. Okay. So you climb the stairs and the ropes and this and that. Mm -hmm. Um it's precarious and you're nervous, but you make it to the top with no trouble. Yeah. Okay. Make it to the top. Um, I just keep following the river because I don't know where I'm supposed to go. At this point, there's no obvious trail. Um, the look back is actually pretty breathtaking. I mean, you're so it looks like this little... Um, whoops. I just the little areas. So you see this whole like river delta down below, and mm -hmm. that's all the lowered area. Nice. And it seems like you're now on like this is at the top of the waterfall. It's like some raised plateau or whatever. Everything's jungle as far as you can see. Okay. And islands out here. Okay. So you continue along the riverbank. How much nice. HP do you have? Um, I have only taken three points of damage. Slimy bastard. Yeah, I know. Shit, I accidentally closed my character sheet. You are out of bones, by the way, right? You cast it and you didn't collect any. Yeah, I'm out of bones. Alright. Alright, so you walk along the riverbank. Mm hmm. Um, Isn't that a Pocahontas song? Mm, just, just around across. the riverbank? There we go. Never mind. Some trolls waiting to eat you. Is that what I see? What, huh? 
right. So why don't you go ahead and roll a perception check for me? Okay. Let's make sure my yeah. Seventeen. That is not very good. That is what we call a failure. Okay. So now what? Just a second. So you you're walking like a few feet from the river, and you hear sort of a splashing noise. Mm -hmm. But it might be too late. It might be too late. It might be game over already. No. Oh God. Do you have any spells in your pocket? Yeah, I got a cause medium wounds, a cause light wounds, and a call upon faith. All right. So you aren't surprised, um, but you turn and you see, like, leaping out of the water, a massive lizard. A massive lizard? Massive lizard. Does it look humanoid or just, like, lizard, lizard? Like, is it all on all fours and flat? It's on all fours. It's a crocodile. Oh, fuck this shit. I run. Yeah. You know, trying to outrun a crocodile. Um, hold on. It's minus two to... No, you still pass your surprise. Yeah, I can totally outrun a crocodile. So let's roll initiative. You can on land, can't you? Damn it. Even though you're encumbered. Um, what's the initiative bonus for running? Just three? Uh, your size is three. Okay. Yeah. Five. Okay, you go first. So you turn and you run. Yeah, fuck this shit. I run. How do you run? How do you run? Wrong. The correct answer is zigzags. Zigzags? Crocodiles are actually pretty quick on land, but they can't turn very well. Oh, I didn't know that. I so Solomon does not know this, so he runs... I mean, it's the, in D&D, &D, crocodiles have movement speed 6 on land, and so it chases you a few feet okay. out of the water. Oh, I, I was going to say, I kind of want to run along the river, mm -hmm. and maybe a little bit away from it, but I, def <laughs> I definitely don't want to run uh, too far away from the river. I want to stay within eyesight easily. Like, okay. easily within eyesight. All right. Okay, that's fine. So okay. you, the crocodile goes back in the water. And you're more observant. You do notice that there are a few in the water. I mean, now that you're paying attention, you're like, well, shit, there's some eyes. Just floating barely above the surface. All right. Um, there are some points where the river, where the shore, like, goes, like, disappears. And so it's basically just jungle up to the river or, like, a cliff. Mm -hmm. So you'll have to cut inland for a little bit. Um... You find yourself struggling with the trees. Did you take Moonblade's sword? Yeah. Okay. So you've got it awkwardly strapped to your back. Or carrying it in my hand or whatever, you know. Which is it? Um, I guess carrying it in my hand. I don't want... I don't have a way to strap it to... I guess I do have 50 feet of rope. Yeah, strapped to his back. Okay. Well, and I'll, I'll carry it in my hand. It's just a little bit easier. Okay. Okay. But you're, so you, it's tough going when you have to go through the jungle, but mm -hmm. you wind up staying pretty close to the river. And let's say maybe around midday, um, you see a village <laughs> on the bank up ahead. Okay, I keep... I, uh... Out of breath, I keep going towards it. Okay. Please you are on sure. the correct bank of the river. <clears throat> um, oh, yeah. okay. There's a wall around this village? Um, did I draw one? I mean, it has the same gray circle. It's around uh, Cinderton. Yes, there is a wall. Cinderton? Cinderton. Cinter. Cinturon. Cinturon. Cinerton. Cinerton. Yes, there is. So there is a uh, palisade wall. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh, I I come in, and I look for a person. Any um, person. The first person. Okay, yeah. You have to like sort of circle around to find an entrance. Okay. Um, it looks like m the main entrance is like from the. You can see docks sort of around the corner. Okay. It seems like boat traffic is the main entrance to the town. Okay. 
Yeah. That you sort of circle around and are able to find an entrance sort of on the northeast face up there. Okay. Oops. Up there. All right. Um, and there is a gate once again. Uh, it is open. It's afternoon. Okay, I, I come in there. Wearing, yeah, wearing my black robes, which are probably heavy and sweat soaked, and it's disgusting and gross. Yeah, pretty much everyone is sweat soaked. Is this Jarvis? All right. Uh, someone turns and says, "I." Oh, thank God! Did you come through the jungle? Three of us set out. Two of us remain. One of us remains. Law of the jungle out there. Yeah. Anyway, whoo. Uh, do you have so a you place can... where I can? Do you have a place where I can sleep for the night or rest up? Is there an inn in town? An inn? Nah, nah. You can set up your tent wherever, man. I don't have a tent. Can I buy a tent? He sort of gestures to the docks where you imagine maybe merchants. Um, this is even, this is a very small village, probably, I don't know, maybe, probably maybe 50 to 70 permanent huts. Okay. And then a few, and then tents and stuff, and the docks. Okay, okay. Cool. Um, I ask him, uh, wh what happened with the ruin out here? Um... I hear some ruins were discovered nearby. Discovered? They always been there, man. And, he's, and he sort of points northeast and he says, the jungle just took them back. Well, yeah. yeah. Cool. Thanks. And then I go and try and find a, hunt, a hut to buy or rent or a tent to buy or rent. Okay. Okay. All right, you're able to... Which do you prefer? I mean, you're able to... Tent. Negotiate whichever. You want to buy a tent or rent a tent? No, rent a tent. Okay, all right. You, you're able to arrange something along those lines um, for, let's say, four silver a night. Done. Okay. All right. Um, it's probably like four in the afternoon. Okay. Um, I want to. I want to see if I can hawk these stone figurines I've been carrying around with me for far too long. I should have done it in a different town already. Yeah, this probably isn't the place to do it. But no. There are, a few, there are a couple of merchants on the docks. Yeah. I, I go around asking if anyone wants to buy these stone figurines. Yeah, did I tell you how much they were worth? Nope. Shit. But I'm guessing thousands of gold. You, do you remember where you got them from? The ogres. Ogres. Yeah. It was in their loot. Yeah. Let me have that written down then. What the balls? I'm a little confused. I'm missing my... Well, I guess I lost it. Fuck. I had a word document with this stuff in it. It must have jumped folder. It's not me. I don't know this number. Uh, um, objects over art. Do you know how many you have? Four statues. Oh, where is it? I, so I do have. No, I never actually rolled for it. There's four art objects. Mm 
Interesting. Okay, four statues. All right. Um. All right. This is. Hmm. These are finely carved. Made of jade. Yep. Um, he says he doesn't have gold for them, but he can pay you in gems. I will we'll take gems. Okay. You're my kind of man, buddy. Okay. Um... He asks what you would like. Like, uh, I'll let him go for about a hundred gold each. Okay. Um. He, he. Do you want like one, one gem, several gems? I prefer many? several smaller gems. Not too many. Like, you know, four or five. Okay. All right. He'll. He has. Four amethysts worth 100 GP each. Okay. And I get rid of my stone figurines, which will drop my weight by four. Okay. Um... Hmm. This Moonblade shit is heavy. Um, all right, I would then like to spend the rest of the day relaxing, um, maybe drinking a little bit, not too much, and I want to go to sleep and rest and get some spells. All I got right. some shit to do before I want to leave Jarvis. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right, you're able to do that. Uh, why don't you shell out three silver for food and drink? Okay. Done. Okay. And you sleep in your tent? Sleep in my tent. And wake up in the morning. In the morning, I would like to memorize detect magic. Um, so it's going to be C-U-L-W detect magic darkness and C U uh, C A M W. What other second level spells do I want? Um, hesitation and zone of truth. Zone of truth. Wait, so you need to lie in that zone? Yeah, I don't know if I have that. In fact, I think I probably don't. Wait, I think of... I made mean, it wasn't your sphere. Yeah, that's Tome of Magic, page 62. Let me go get the book um, so I know what sphere it is. Yeah, sorry, that's... I don't know, sorry. My girlfriend's playing violin. Theme music. Okay. Page 62, Zone of Truth. Sphere is wards. Um, yeah. Is that a normal sphere or is that a new one? That's a new one. Nah, you don't have it. Okay. Let's not memorize Zone of Truth then. Let's do... Why can I not... Oh, there we go. Here we go. Remove Zone of Truth from my list of spells. Uh, then I'd like to take... Um, aid. Okay. There we go. And I immediately, upon waking, cast Detect Magic on all of my stuff. Including the Moonblade's equipment. And I kind of like spread out his equipment first. Yeah. Okay, Including so yeah. yeah, um, the uh, them braces are magical, yes, and your potion is magical. I think otherwise, everything is not magic. The sandstone knife is not magical. Nope. Um, no, I think I'm going to roll. It's entirely non. 
Magical. I mean, you're in, yeah. I mean, it's not giving you any reading on your detect magic. I okay. mean, yeah. All right. I mean, you expecting you, you assume it was made by magical means, but it right. was not magically enchanted. Okay, cool. I will remove. Um, I get a chance to get sphere and stuff, don't you? Get sphere and stuff? Like the sphere of magic, of the enchantment is a percentage. I'll, I'll let me look at yes. the roll. Yes, yes. Ten percent chance per level, so that's caster level, correct? Mm -hmm. the sphere of magic, but unlike the wizard version, he cannot determine what type. What does that mean? Okay, so you get sphere, but not. I don't know. Not sphere, but not school. Okay. If you pass, which you don't. Um, and then you already know which. Yeah, I already know the potion's magical. Yeah, and you don't you don't detect the sphere, but you already know it's a potion of growth unless he lied to you. Right, right. Just... There's no reason for him to have lied. All right, so yeah. I drop the Moonblade's equipment in the tent. I don't give it, or not his equipment. Um, his big weapon, his Moonblade, and his dagger. I leave it in the tent. Mm hmm. Um. And I stretch, I go back to the guy who owns the tent that I'm renting and say I'd like it for another day. Give him another three silver. And I want to go walk about the town. Uh, and I ask him if they have a, a local wizard or something. A spellcaster, uh, diviner. No, no. No. There's also... There's voodoo priests in the woods, but in the in the jungle, but I just don't have a wizard. <coughs> no, I mean, yeah. <coughs> yeah. All right, uh, I put on the vem braces. Okay. I'm you actually. Don't... Yeah. How much do right. they weigh? I'm going to separate them from his clothing. Uh, let's just say one. Uh, let's say two pounds, one pound each. Okay. I mean, actually, uh, unless there's a. Let me take a peek and see if that's in combat tactics, actually, as a piece, but, yeah. Um, all right, you put them on with no ill effects, or actually any, you don't notice anything whatsoever. Right. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to wait down to 40 now, perfect. Right. Do you just rock the holy symbol, or do you wish to wrap something around, or do you just wear them underneath? He had them over his sleeves, but I guess... I wear them under my sleeves. sleeves, yeah. And I kind of glare at the holy symbols in disgust. And actually, when I put them on, I make a little prayer to Beelzebub, being I, I wear these only to get to the, your... <laughs> only to reach to the next goal. These foul gods burn my skin... They have armor pieces in here, don't they? Yeah, it's. It's a great. Maybe it's right after weapon. After it's right before the weapon list. Uh, two pages before. Okay, here we go. Composite armors. Um, no. Nope. Say <coughs> one pound each. They're not. Yeah, they're just like made of like leather, whatever. They're nice, but they're not like plate, so they're not that heavy. Mm-hmm. All right. Do you leave? So, what do you leave behind? What did you sorry? What did you leave behind in the tent? Uh, I dropped the two weapons of the Moonblade. His clothes. I keep his clothes. I may need them to impersonate him one day. Okay. Okay. All right. Um. I kick it for the rest of the day, taking some time to relax after the arduous journey through the jungle. Mm -hmm. And um, Here, do you cast a cure like wounds on yourself? I don't. Okay, I've got it. You know what? No, I'll just memorize spells in the morning. I will cast a cure like wounds on myself. Okay. Um, D eight R D eight five HP bring me to full. 
Um, okay. And then I'm going to wait for nighttime. I want to do some stuff at night before I go to sleep. All right. Uh, do you want to do three more silver for the tent again? <laughs> yeah. I, I paid it already. Right, um, and whatever silver to eat for the day. Okay. That's that's fine. No, don't pay any more. Okay. Cool. I'll lower the price on the tent for the second day. All right. Uh... Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're talking to her. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So what were you doing that night? Um, I want to go over to the docks in the evening after the sun has gone down. Okay. Uh, are there many people walking about? A handful, yeah. A handful? Maybe three or four people hanging around the docks. How big are the docks? What? How long of a stretch of coastline do they take up? Um, maybe a couple hundred yards. Okay. Most of they're just wooden docks. Mostly pretty short. It's just little rowboats. It's actually mostly pole, like little pushing, like little, what do you call those? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Gondolas or something? I just kind of look over them and glare at them. Glare at the people walking on the decks and murmur under my breath, well, I'll get you guys when I come back. <laughs> what did they ever do to you? Um, I have two gems on my character sheet that I don't know what they're worth, just as a heads up. You just got them. Like, like, you just no, I got four amethyst gems. No, you just looted them. Oh, yeah, I just looted them off my blade, yeah. I'll put Moonblade next to them so I don't forget. Okay, um, I'm going to go to sleep. I'll replace Detect Magic and Cure Light Wounds with... Um, uh, light and... Call Upon Faith. Um, and then I want to, in the next morning, uh, ask the, ask a person if I can find it, if they have a guide that will take me to the ruins. Um, the first person you ask seems kind of spooked that you want to go there and scurries off pretty quickly. Interesting. Um, next person I approach, I want to say, hey, what do you know about the ruins? Hmm. So they, they say there's some ruins of an ancient city northeast of town. Some people um, seem to be... Oh. Some people seem to be kind of spooked by it. Why is that? Mm. Mm. Evil things happened there many centuries ago. Like what? Mm. He shrugs. Eh. The usual evil things, human sacrifice, dark gods, the men that built the the city were not so good. Well, and yeah, I need and to. Now some evil creatures have and returned to uncover what was long buried. I need to go to those ruins. Do you know He's someone that will guide me there? Sure. Hmm. Maybe someone will for a price, but... Oh, I've got money to pay. Believe me. He's, he, he doesn't know anyone. You wouldn't guide me? <laughs> Not me, no. What about for ten gold? He shrugs. I, I can take you as far as the entrance. I can show you the way. That's all I need. Someone to show me the way. Okay. How far is it out of town? Is it a day? Half a day? Three days? Mm. A half day should do it. Okay. Way back would be easy enough for me to find on my own, right? He shrugs. Depends how clever you are. Alright, well... It's getting back alive that I think is the harder part. So ten gold for you to take me there... Another ten gold if you wait a day for me to and uh, wait for me for a day and bring me back. All right. When do you want to go? 
right now. Mm. Unless you need to gather your things. I'm... No, no. Um, let me see this gold, if you don't mind. I shill him out ten gold. You give it to him? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me get my affairs in order. He like. Do you follow him? Yeah, I've totally follow him. All right. Uh, he tells a um, his son that I mean I don't know that he's helping you out and that he I don't know take care of his shit for him. Be a good boy. Daddy will come home soon. Okay. Alright. So, okay. let's head off into the woods. Yeah, uh, I, I head off into the jungle with him. Okay. Alright, there's a path right out of town. What are you smirking about? That's, that slowly disappears into the jungle, leaving um, nothing. I mean, like, no path. Uh, I, I ask our, my guide his name. Um, um, Papa Joe. <laughs> <laughs> you laugh and it's like, it's no, it's just he says it in like one slurred word, like as if it's like a one. Papa Joe. Papa Joe. Papa Joe. It's fine. It's just yeah. You and I both have troubles coming up with names on the spot. It's hilarious. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay. All right. He has like a little hand axe that he uses to clear brush out of your way. Okay. I keep going until we get to the the temple or the the, the ruins. Yeah, yeah. All right. So you head pretty much northeast. Um, all right. So yeah. So initially, sorry, the path was it wasn't dirt. It was it was stone. There was a stone pathway mm -hmm. leading. We had a town that disappeared into the woods. Um, and then occasionally you do see it pop up beneath your feet. Okay. Just sort of like stone, like rectangular stone bricks. Okay. It goes maybe, maybe 25 feet wide. And then once you're into the jungle, it's overgrown and obscured. Right. It seems to be beneath your feet. Wait, 25 time. feet wide? Yeah. That's a um, huge path. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Okay. I, I follow. I ask yeah. him why he it, did the, these city must have been huge. You know, says yes. What happened to it? Empire. Mm, the jungle always takes back what it gives. But there must have been people there to hold back the jungle. What happened to the people? The jungle doesn't simply overgrow an active city. Mm, he shrugs. I do not know. All right. I keep walking with them. Okay. All right. So you cut your way through the jungle. Um, just the usual sounds. Cacaws of birds and yipping of monkeys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nothing particularly unusual. Um, yeah. Um, so... At about midday, you um, re you get to the point where you, I mean the road is beneath your feet again, and it looks like it's I mean the jungle has been cleared away a little bit from okay. the road, so there's a, now there's like a road leading through the jungle. Okay. Um, and it sort of goes for a bit and then rounds a corner, and then you see on either side of the road there is a large like stone pillar mm -hmm. with like, something with shit carved into it this is about mm, uh maybe 100 feet off and then sort of around the back side of one of these pillars you see a large humanoid figure like leaning okay is it sitting down but uh how large are we talking like human size but like a big human uh, or large, larger no. than oh. Uh, 
I think like nine, like nine feet. I say to our, uh, to Papa Joe, Papa Joe, who, what's that? Mm. Um. Uh, I'm in my alphabet. Oh. It's nine foot plus. <laughs> um. Hmm. That must be one of the witch's boogeymen. This is where I leave. You'll be back here. You'll wait here, though, for me tomorrow when I come out. He sort of looks around nervously and he says, around that bend, yes. Okay. Ten and gold. Scuttles, uh, yeah, scuttles. For you or anyone who comes back to lead me, if you can't handle this on your own. Someone will be here tomorrow. Good. All right. Uh, I stretch my shoulders a little bit. And I walk in. Okay. Alright. You hear a loud snoring as you get closer. Um, can I get a physical description? Skin tone, uh, equipment, clothing, gender? Um, it appears to be male. There is a large club leaning up, at, leaning up against, against him. Um, it's sort of like a... He's sort of like a sickly yellowish mm -hmm. skin tone, but with a sickly yellow green tint to it. Uh, long, greasy black hair, lean, muscular, lanky arms. Um, you're still about 50 feet away, and he's just half obscured by this pillar. Okay. Uh, I walk. He takes Solomon, takes like a deep breath. <sighs> And then walks right up to the creature. Mm -hmm. um, All right, he's out cold. Okay. Um, yeah. Getting getting close on closer inspection. It looks like an ogre, although it's not a color that you're used to seeing. Okay. Um, I look around. Is there anything else nearby? Um, not that you can see. Okay. I I hit it on. Some part of its body. I mean, it's laying down or sitting prop sit up, sitting up. Um, he's he's sitting down. Okay, I like shake its shoulder or like pat head on its knee or something that I can reach to kind of like wake up creature. He sort of snorts and like <clears throat> and grunts something in. Oh, you speak ogre, don't you? I believe I do speak ogre. Yes. Okay. Alright. He's a um. Yeah. He says an ogre. Uh, what is it? What is it? Mm -hmm. I say, I reply an ogre. Beelzebub has called me, and I have come. He turns and he looks to you. He says, Who are you, little man? I am Solomon the Cruel, champion of Beelzebub, and you will take me to where I need to go. Um, he's sort of casually leaning against his club, but he doesn't really have it as a weapon or anything. Did you stand up? Yeah, he stand up. He stood okay. up. I said that a few seconds ago. Sorry, I missed it then. Yeah. Um, so he's hunched over looking at you in the face. Uh, would you like to roll charisma check? Love to. Damn it, come back here, Windows. 18. Not very good. <laughs> it's a fail. Where do you think you need to go, little man? I had a vision of Beelzebub. He said I should come here. I corrupted the heart and soul of one of the moon blades from across the sea. You notice that around his neck he has a cheap, ovular, polished stone. Hmm. Tied her in a string. Okay. Someone okay. else had a polished stone around their neck, too. Mm -hmm. um, I pull out my my Beelzebub uh, amulet thingy mm -hmm. and show it to him. And I say, lead me into the city. He points to the stone next to you, or to the pillar next to you, mm -hmm. and there's a scarab in there. I mean, it's covered in hieroglyphics, but right. there's a scarab on there somewhere. I say, exactly. Take me into the city. You wish to meet my mistress? Bring me to her. <laughs> 
I think she's going to like you. I believe so as well. Okay. Okay. All right. So he turns and um, you follow, I assume. Yeah, I, I follow. All right. So the road goes a little ways. It's winding. It looks like it's been cleared um, and somewhat recently. Okay. And you, yeah, it winds a little and you maybe another less than a quarter mile or so down the road. Um, you turn a corner and it opens up into a vast stone city um, submerged by the jungle. So just huge stone pyramids. There's a tower off somewhere in the distance and large stone buildings. Hmm. Uh, yeah, overgrown with vegetation. Okay. Um, you you notice maybe you notice two more of these creatures sort of ambling about. Like one of them's dragging a large tree, and the other is sort of walking from one place to another. Okay. And the ogre sort of looks down and sort of gestures and sort of smiles almost pride or something of the sort. <clears throat> Welcome to old Jarvis. Very glad to be here. I smile and... Uh... Okay. So, so the, the, sorry, the, the city is sort of below you and there is like a, a large staircase at the end of this road leading down into the city. So the city's like... I mean, it's, yeah. How far down is it? Um, maybe about a, probably about a hundred feet. Eventually, I mean, it's like sort of a long staircase. Weird. I mean, so it's sort of like a deep, shallow valley. At least this part of it. I mean, who knows? How broad is the staircase? Um, like how many people could fit? It's the it? same width of, as the. It starts out as twenty-five feet wide, but it's sort of like a. Parallel, like a parallelogram, so like opens up. Right. So that was an aerial view. Right, right. So it's, it's 25 feet wide at the top. And then, and then it, it gets bigger as it goes down? Yeah. Does it just go straight down the hill, or does it switch back? No, no, no. It's just like straight down. Okay. Uh, I say, where is your dark mistress? <clears throat> I think she's at the pyramid. I and smile. You You've done well today. Beelzebub will reward you in life or in death. And I, I walk down. And uh, that's... It's either break time or end time. No, let's let's wrap it up. We can... Uh, you can ex or what time? Or? A break time or end time. One or the other. No, let's, let's end. I don't, don't have okay. prep to keep going. <laughs> okay, perfect. Um, um, yeah, so we can have you explore the city of Old Jarvis. The ruins of Old Jarvis next week next time uh is next sunday work for you it should it should it should work for me too um i'll let you know if there's any interruptions or changes but next sunday sounds great Just chat's mad at me why is chat <laughs> mad at you for calling an end instead of taking a break <laughs> <laughs> yeah well we all have, ryan's got I'm shit to prepared. do i was expecting him to storm the city with the Moonblade and maybe a Knoll or some other hirelings at his back. Instead, he's rocking it solo. Solomon's a solo kind of guy. I have to get chewed to pieces by... His name is Solo Man, really, if you think about it. <laughs> yep, yep. So let's do experience. Experience! So I take full credit for killing the Moonblade. <laughs> You're funny. So 35 for the Knoll... Seven for that random thing you hit out of the tree. The eyes. So that's 42. So you killed six lizard man, lizard man at 65 apiece. Let's divide that. Should I divide it by two or by three? By whatever you want. I'm just trying to think whether to count Rolf as a... I mean, he's not a... Mm -hmm. Also, people who die usually don't get EXP. Yeah, I think I'll just divide by two. Okay. Are you, are you adding this as I go? Yeah, I'm writing it down. and I'll just do the math at the very end. So 35 plus 7 plus 65 times 6 divided by 2. 
Yeah, so it's 237 total. Moonblade gave you it was worth 395. Divide it, let's divide that by two. Lizard Men, so 197.5. You can round to 198. Okay. Actually, round down to 197. The lizard men did most of the work. <laughs> um, I think that was all you killed, correct? Yes. Yeah. And then... Let's give you 100 for setting for the torture scene. Mm-hmm. Another 25 for that random gas fire. Mm-hmm. Either mayhem I'm forgetting. And then let's give you another let's give you mm, let's give you another let's give you seventy five for your betrayal. Betrayal of Moonblade. Moonblade. Lucifron. So it's total of two hundred quest XP. Okay. So that comes out to six hundred and thirty four experience, I believe. Mm, I didn't. I never added the two together, so I don't know. I'll trust you on that. Yeah, uh, three sixty four total. Three sixty four. No, oh, three sixty four total for everything. Yeah. No. Really? No, sorry, enough. six six thirty four. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Six thirty four. Okay. Um, and then times one point one for uh, whatever's. Mm -hmm. That brings me to 697.4, so 697. All right. What does that put you at? Three, two, seven, five. That puts me at 3,972. Okay. All right. So you're still away from leveling. It's like 6,000 for level 4, right? Yeah, I got another 2,000 to go. All right. Anything else? Um... I don't get gold for experience for magic equipment or gold. Experience for it? In the DMG that says you can alternatively, if you're having trouble figuring out how to give EXP, you can give EXP for every gold, uh, like one EXP for every gold they find. I'm trying to think how that would work. It's an optional rule. It's just, no. no. That's in addition to, or that's like, add, like that's, that's like, that. you know, like you reward uh, equal to the loot in terms of experience. Instead of monster XP, or just in, in in tandem with? I'm not going to do that. I'm just damn it. Because I mean, cause, well, you got ripped off on those stone statues, but they were worth like 400 GP each. Oh my god! I'm not just going to throw out 1200 XP for you know, because the tables on the art objects, it's like boom, yeah. you've got a hundred thousand GP art object or something. Yeah, like yeah. How, and you give someone a hundred thousand GP based on a random chance roll. Yeah. All right. Well then. All right. XP for getting to you know, okay. Anything else? No. King Zeus suggests XP for getting to Jarvis, which I think is a good call. So I'll give you. Let's give you another. Let's give you two hundred for reaching the okay. ruined city. So another two twenty. All right. That brings me to. 4192 in terms of EXP. So I'm still shy 2k for my next level, which is fine. Which is fine. Okay. I still have my potion of growth, which I can always oh. use last moment to... Mm -hmm. Oh, you think you're going to defeat me? It's the plan. It's the plan. Okay. He should get experience for not cutting dicks off. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to have to take away all the experience you got that two sessions ago, or whenever that was. Yeah. yeah. I thought you'd be tempted by the null dick. No, I, I forgot to cut off um, Lucifron's ears. I totally meant to, but I just... I Many, do you have elf ears? No, I keep throwing away the elf ears, but I keep cutting off elf ears. <laughs> it's my thing. I just... So stressed out in the morning, I forgot to cut them off. Anyway. That's that for uh, Dicing with Death. Yeah. What are you going to do for the rest of the weekend, Ryan? It's weekend's over. It's Sunday. Yeah, but you got hours left in the day. Yeah. Back to work tomorrow. Back to work. Back to sciencing. Back to sciencing. Back to shooting things with electrons and I don't know, whatever. That's, yeah, basically. Using your electron gun. 
Uh, no, but sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, okay. All right. Good game. I'll, I'll see you next week. Yep. And uh, for everyone else, we you should check out my Twitter because I posted, I think you've all been talking about it, the <laughs> intro and the kind of the prequel to this uh, the new season of Roleplay Solemn. And I'm going to be working with everyone to make their characters today and tomorrow. I don't know when we're going to play, but we're going to try and play soon. So stick around and maybe some cool shit will be happening. Uh, see you guys next week. Bye-bye.